Good evening and welcome to the Inform's annual awards ceremony. Your master of ceremonies for this evening is Inform's president, Ramaya Krishnan of Carnegie Mellon University. Good evening, how are you doing? How's the dessert? Good, 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 good. So good evening and welcome uh, to the INFORM's annual awards uh, ceremony. Uh, so tonight we'll be celebrating some of the outstanding accomplishments of our members. And there are lots of reasons to be excited tonight. Some of you are here to have your accomplishments recognized. Some of you are here because your friends, students, and colleagues are receiving well-deserved recognition. Some of you are even waiting to learn if you'll be named the winner of the competition in which you participated today. Whatever brought you here, you're about to witness the presentation of some of our field's most prestigious awards. Please join me in a round of applause for everyone being honored tonight. In addition to the awards presented at this ceremony, we also know that INFORMS is greatly strengthened by our many, many members who volunteer their time and expertise. Tomorrow night, at a special award ceremony at 7.30 p.m., we will recognize the Judith Liebman Award winners who are being honored for their service specifically to INFORMS students chapter. You see it up there. At that time, we'll also recognize several student chapters which are being honored for their efforts at the university level, again. On Tuesday evening, at our member meeting and reception, we'll formally recognize several members who have given generously to INFORMS through their service. And you see their names up there. The dedicated volunteer work of our members is critical to the success of INFORMS in our field, so please join me in sort of giving them a hearty round of applause. So this time I'd like to help, uh, to, to help present tonight's awards. I'd like to invite Melissa Moore, uh, Executive Director of Informs, uh, to come to the stage. <laughs> Melissa. We begin this evening with the Bonder Scholarships. As many of you know, Seth Bonder was an extraordinary leader of our field. He was a US Air Force pilot who later became a professor at the University of Michigan and then the founder and CEO of Vector Research, a highly successful company that is recognized for innovation and applying OR to public and private sector enterprises. Dr. Bonder, was the 27th president of ORSA, a vice president of I-Force, a member of the National Academy of Engineering, and the recipient of numerous awards, including the Kimball Award and the INFORMS President's Award. Dr. Bonda established two scholarships to encourage OR approaches to the areas of military applications and health services. In a continuation of Dr. Bonder's legacy, the Bonder Foundation is dedicated to supporting all Bonder scholars. Eligible Bonder scholars may apply for a grant to assist with their research and travel expenses and to attend and present their work at an INFORMS conference. These prestigious scholarships aim to promote the development and use of process modeling and operations research analysis to military and healthcare applications. Mrs. Bonder, Seth's widow and executive director the Bonder Foundation is with us tonight, if you can wave. I can't see very well here. Uh, I can't see so my lights in my eyes, but thank you again very much. So please uh, help me in thanking her for uh, her continued, their continued support of these scholarships. We'll first recognize the winner of the Bonder Scholarship for Health application. Now, let me invite Alyssa Long, Chair of the Bonder Scholarship and Health Applications on stage to announce tonight's winner. Alyssa.
Thank you. First, I would like to thank this year's Bonder Scholarship Committee members. Lauren Cipriano, the 2011 Bonder Scholar, Michael Freeman, Maria Ibenez, Amin Kademi, the 2012 Bonder Scholar, and Hami Song. This year's competition consisted of 15 outstanding applicants, and the 2019 Bonder Scholarship in Healthcare goes to David Mildebrath. David is a fourth year PhD student in applied mathematics at Rice University, advised by Professor Andrew Schaefer. His dissertation research focuses on the design of regulatory policies governing organ transplantation. He has worked with transplant surgeons at Houston Methodist Hospital to develop a stochastic optimization model to identify the optimal composition of the waiting list for lung transplants. David's research is mathematically rigorous, addresses an important problem in healthcare operations, and has the potential to impact current policy in a meaningful way. I am delighted to present him with this year's Bonder Scholarship. Congratulations, David, and welcome to the Bonder family. Now we invite Nathaniel Bastian, Chair of the Bonder Scholarship for Applied Operations Research in Military and Security Applications to come on stage. First I'd like to thank the Bonder Scholar Committee for their time in evaluating the applications that we received. We selected one application above all others that best represents the successful application of process modeling and operations research analyses to defense-related applications, including both military and national security issues. So the winner for 2019 is Major Nicholas Shalcross, United States Army. <laughs> Nick, who is currently pursuing a PhD in industrial engineering, under the direction of Dr. Greg Parnell at the University of Arkansas, is researching the development of a deployable trade space analytical capability to an address uncertainty and resilience in Department of Defense, or DOD, system development through the use of set-based design. Nick's research is motivated by the potential to save trillions of dollars in weapon system research, development, and acquisition costs across the DOD. Nick's research, which is now supported by the Bonder Scholarship, will make a significant contribution to the field of applied OR and defense-related applications. Congratulations, Nick. Nan Kong will present the 2019 Undergraduate Operations Research Prize. Good evening, everyone. It's been an honor to work with my fellow prize committee members. I would like to thank them for their tireless efforts in evaluating the many excellent papers submitted to this year's competition. Their names appear on the screen. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> this year, we received 15 high quality entries from six entries. The entries either tackle challenging theory and methodology problems or solve impactful real-world problems with ORMS techniques. The applicants amplifies a group of finest talents coming to our ORMS profession. On behalf of the prize committee, I want to thank all the student authors for their hard work and their research advisors for their excellent mentoring. All these students did very impressive research work and six of them were selected for the first round of judging. Then their entries were further differentiated by the committee in a second round. Earlier today, the finalists presented their work in two sessions to enthusiastic audiences full of the, the room. Um, the finalists right now are here in the audience with us this evening but still anxiously awaits the final results. Here are the finalists. 
Dipian Banerjee from Northwestern University, Hendrik Otto from Kosselu Institute of Technology, Rabia Taspier from Sabenji University. Let's congratulate the finalists. Now it's time to break the suspense. I'll first announce the two honorable mentions and then the first place winner. The first honorable mention goes to Vinak Aluvaya from University of Michigan. Our second honorable mention goes to Liang Yuan Na, Kong Yang, and Chi Chong Lo from University of California, Berkeley. Now, this year, the first place winner of the INFORMS Undergraduate OR Prize goes to Milan Pri Kaur from the University of Waterloo. Please join me in congratulating the winners and all the finalists of the 2019 Undergraduate Operation Research Prize for their remarkable pro uh, papers. And now, presenting the 2019 George E. Nicholson Student Paper Competition Prize, our committee co-chairs, Shipra Agrawal and Lewis and Taimo. Good evening, everyone. The George e. Nicholson Jr. Memorial Award was established in memory of Professor George e. Nicholson Jr. Through the, through, though Pro Professor Nicholson was an academician, his interests ranged far beyond research, and he was very deeply involved with the concerns of students. The George Nicholson Student Paper Competition is held each year to identify and honor outstanding student papers in the field of operations research and the management sciences. The criteria used by the award committee includes originality, technical depth and correctness, novelty and breadth, and expected impact and exposition. Uh, this year we had high quality submissions, uh, a record 116 of them. Uh, we want to thank uh, the numerous committee members for their careful reviews, uh, thoughtful feedback, uh, and commitment of time. It, it is no easy task uh, to review so many papers. Uh, and they did a fantastic job of it. Uh, their names uh, appear on the screen. Uh, it now gives me a great pleasure to announce the prize winners, uh, starting with the honorable mentions. Uh, the committee selected three papers of honorable mention. The first one goes to uh, Ray Hao Zhu from MIT. Uh, next is uh, Mine Su Ethulk from Stanford.
And the next one is uh, Ruoshan Chong from Stanford University. And now, uh, second place uh, is awarded to Jessica Hoffman uh, from University of Texas at Austin. And, the, and finally, uh, the first place winner is Ilun Chen from Cornell University. And now, presenting the 2019 Doing Good with Good OR Student Competition Award, our committee co-chairs, Marielle Lavieri and Alfonso Pedraza Martinez. Uh, good evening. The Doing Good with Good OR Student Paper Competition identifies and honors outstanding student projects that have or are likely to have a significant societal impact on individuals, communities, and organizations that go beyond that of private and for-profit initiatives. To be considered for this award, the use of operations research methods and tools must be central to the success of these projects. Additionally, these papers are assessed by their innovative contributions to theory, computational methods, and the strategies used to ensure their implementation. I would like to thank the committee members for all their help and, and time, especially my co-chair, Alfonso. Thank you, Maria. Uh, this year, we received 22 submissions, and we selected four finalists. And they were invited to present here at the annual meeting. And it is refreshing to see how OR is doing good. Uh, earlier today, the finalists presented their work in a special session and after careful consideration, the judges uh, have decided on a winner and uh, runner-ups uh, as well. So um, I want to start with uh, our final finalist, this uh, Homot uh, Al Sabah from Columbia University. Uh, now, the second uh, place prizes, we have uh, Wijia Jing and Keseba Tashi from Northeastern University. And uh, Shishian uh, Shu from Georgia Institute of Technology. <laughs> and next, uh, it's my pleasure to announce the 2019 winner, the first place for this year's competition goes to uh, Somia Singri from uh, MIT. So, uh, congratulations to all of them and keep doing good with a good OR. And now, presenting the 2019 George B. Danzig Dissertation Award is Committee Chair Nikos Sava. 
Good evening. First, I'd like to thank the committee for their time and effort in evaluating many outstanding submissions. I will first announce the names of the finalists, then our honorable mentions, and then the first place winner of the 2019 George B. Dancing Best Dissertation Award. Our finalist is Guadong Liu of the National University of Singapore. <laughs> Honorable mentions go to Kan Zhang, Georgia Tech, and Ashwin Van Kadaraman, NYU. And the winner of the 2019 George Dancing Award is Sebastian Martin, MIT. Please welcome back to the podium, Ramaya Krishnan. Join me in a round of applause to all the wonderful awards. <laughs> Before we move on to the case competition, I have the great honor of announcing a brand new, fully endowed, informs level award the Donald P. Gaver Jr. Early Career Award for Excellence in Operations Research. It will be awarded for the first time at the 2020 annual meeting. The purpose of the award is to support creative and diverse work in operations research in the early career of the recipient. The candidate must be within 10 years of receiving a PhD and be in a tenure track academic appointment. For those of you who don't recognize Don's name. He was a longtime member and a fellow of INFORMS and chairman of the INFORMS Applied Probability Society. And now, presenting the 2019 INFORMS case competition is committee chair, Jim Cochran. Jim. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, the INFORMS case competition encourages the creation, dissemination, and classroom use of new unpublished cases in operations research, management science, and analytics. The prize is awarded annually to recognize outstanding cases. The submissions are judged according to the relevance of the application of one or more of INFORMS constituent disciplines and on the quality of the session presentation. I'd like to thank my committee members for their work in reviewing the cases and judging the case presentations earlier today. Their names are on the screen. On either side, you can see those. So thanks to the, uh, the committee members. Our finalists are, our first finalists are Marie E. Rancor and Yuseri Andalisak of HEC Montreal, Emily Dufar of the United Nations World Food Program, and Celine Silvestri of FICO. Our second finalists are Maxime C. Cohen, Kevin Zhao, and Foster Provost of the NYU Stern School and Daniel Guetta of the Columbia Business School. So our winners of the 2019 INFORMS case competition are Saurabh Bonsal of Penn State University, Philip C. Jones and Timothy J. Lau 
of the University of Iowa. Thank you. We look forward to seeing everybody at the 2020 case competition. Good night. And now, presenting the 2019 Teaching of ORMS Prize on behalf of Committee Chair Jim Crows is Committee Member Galru Ozkan Seeley. This prize even is given annually to a teacher for excellence in teaching the practice of ORMS. Uh, the purpose of this award is to recognize a teacher who has succeeded in helping their students to acquire the knowledge and skills necessary to be effective practitioners of operations research or management science. And I'm pleased to present this year's prize for teaching the, uh, of ORMS practice to Patrick Noonan, Emory University. Dr. Noonan has certainly demonstrated teaching excellence at the Emory University. And now, presenting the 2019 Saul Gas Expository Writing Prize on behalf of Committee Chair Stephen Boyd is INFORM's VP of Membership and Professional Recognition, Susan Martinosi. The Saul Gas Expository Writing Award recognizes an author whose publications set an exemplary standard of exposition. The writing should possess an influence and accessibility enhanced by expository excellence. Criteria include lucidity, conciseness, and interest of the writing. The author must have affected how something is done, studied, taught, or thought about. From a number of very strong nominations, I am pleased to announce that the award for 2019 goes to Professor Sunil Chopra of Northwestern University. <laughs> Sunil can't join us this evening. However, I wanted to share some of his accomplishments. He is the IBM Distinguished Professor of Operations Management. Professor Chopra's research and teaching interests are in operations management, logistics, and distribution management, design of communication networks, and design of distribution networks. He has co-authored the books Managing Business Process Flows and Supply Chain Management, Strategy, Planning, and Operation. The Supply Chain Management book was awarded the best book of the year for 2002 by the Institute of Industrial Engineers, IIE. Accepting on his behalf this evening is Anton Braverman. And now, presenting the Philip McCord Morris Lectureship Award is 2019 Committee Chair, Margaret Brando. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here to presenting this award that honors Philip McCord Morse, who's widely believed to be uh, the father of operations research in the US. Among his accomplishments, he was known for having organized the anti-submarine warfare operations research group for the Navy in World War II. He also wrote with George Kimball a seminal book on methods of operations research. The Morris Lectureship is awarded for a two-year term and comes with a travel stipend as well as a copy of Morse's book, In the Beginning of a Physicist's Life, and his book, Methods of Operations Research. Tonight, I'm honored to present the award to Professor Peter Glynn, the Thomas Ford Professor of Management Science and Engineering at Stanford. <laughs> Professor Glynn is a distinguished scholar in the areas of stochastics, computation, and optimization. His research centers on computational algorithms, mathematical approximations, statistical methodology, and optimization methods for the analysis of systems in which uncertainty is present. He has developed algorithms that are widely used across the field of Monte Carlo simulation, 
Additionally, the many seminal contributions he has made have applications in a broad range of areas, including financial risk management, service systems engineering, logistics, and retail operations. Professor Glynn has won numerous prizes for his research, including the Von Neumann Theory Award Prize from Informs in 2010, two Best Publication Awards from the Informs Simulation Society in 1993 and 2008, and the Best Publication Award, which is uh, awarded biannually by the Informs Applied Probability Society. He's an Informs Fellow, he's a Fellow of the Institute of Mathematical Statistics, and he's a member of the National Academy of Engineering. In short, Professor Glynn is just amazing. I'm honored to call him my colleague and friend. Please join me in congratulating Peter. I view holding the Morris Lectureship as a great honor, given the distinctive role of Philip McCord Morris in starting the field of operations research, as well as his early impact on both applied OR and its theory. I'm excited that I'm going to have the opportunity to lecture about our field over the next couple of years. My statement stems from my view that OR is entering a golden age in which ubiquitous data, advanced computing, and public understanding of the central role of analytics are greatly adding to the impact of our discipline. I want to thank Margaret and the committee for giving me this opportunity. I also thank my wife Marilyn and daughter Isis for their patience and enormous support over the years as I've taught, researched, and traveled on behalf of my work. I'm also grateful to my students and collaborators from whom I've learned so much over the years. It's a splendid thing indeed to work with exceptional scholars who are also exceptional people. Thanks again. I'll see you all in Maryland in a year from now when I give my lecture. And now, presenting the 2019 John von Neumann Theory Prize is committee chair Gerard Cornejos. Good evening. The uh, 2019 John von Neumann Theory Prize is awarded to Dimitris Bertsimus and Zhang Shi Pang for their fundamental contributions to theory in operations research and the management sciences. Dimitris Bertsimas and Zhang Shi Peng pushed the frontiers of traditional optimization models into novel directions that greatly expanded the domain of possible applications. This was achieved through the creative development of new theory. Their work has been extremely influential. <coughs> uh, George Jansig said, the final test of any theory is its capacity to solve the problems which originated it. Both Dimitris Pritsimas and Zhang Shi Peng have exemplified this dictum through their professional careers developing path-breaking theory and then ensuring that it is refined into practical methods and computational tools. Dimitris Bersimas has made fundamental scholarly contributions in robust optimization, machine learning, as well as other areas of optimization, applied probability and statistics. During the last 15 years, Dimitris Bertsimus has pursued a very ambitious research agenda using the uh, paradigm of robust optimization to change the way many stochastic systems are modeled and solved. His work has found its way into several applications such as managing electricity production in New England among numerous others. Zhang Shipeng pioneered the area of multi-agent optimization in operations research for which he both laid the uh, theoretical foundations based on combining complementary theory and variational inequalities and made a number of 
impactful contributions in applications ranging from pricing in electricity markets, resource allocation in communication systems, traffic equilibrium in transportation, and robotics. His work has set the frontier in the important area of multi-agent optimization and led several scholars to continue this line of work. I'm very pleased to first present the award to uh, uh, Dimitris Gersimas. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel very honored and humbled to be in the company of many of my OR heroes whose work has saved our field and has been an inspiration for me from my early 20s. I would like to thank Zerar, Asu, and Bill for selecting me. I would like to use the opportunity to acknowledge the people who impacted my life and career and to whom I feel a significant debt. My parents and grandmother who instilled in me the belief that I will always succeed no matter how difficult the task and to always aspire to do my best. My wife and best friend, Georgia Perakis, one of the most generous and loving people I know, who taught me by her example the importance of perseverance, generosity, and positivity. My advisor and friend, Amedeo Doni, one of the nicest people I know, who showed me by his example the importance of good judgment in life and in science and of being a caring and principled leader. My doctoral students, my extended academic family, who remind me every day why I became an academic. I dedicate this award to Georgia and to my students with affection. I have been privileged to be a professor at the Operational Research Center, one of the finest places for operational research in the world throughout my career. In a typical day, I meet with my doctoral students discussing ideas about making new discoveries and constantly learning new things. I feel that I have found something that I love to do and makes my life meaningful. I would like to leave you with a quote from Steve Jobs in his speech at Stanford in 2005. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you have not found it, keep looking, don't settle. To all young people in years and in spirit in the audience, and especially my students, I wish you to find something that you love to do. And as with all matters of the heart, you will know when you find it. Thank you. Now I present the award to uh, Zhang Shi Peng. Good evening. Uh, so uh, this is my first time to be asked to give a some uh, formal speech, and so please forgive me if I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm really very pleased and honored to accept this very prestigious prize award by, by Inform. Throughout my academic career, I've strived to excel among the many giants and pioneers of our field. To have these efforts recognized by the society really makes me, I mean, in a way, speechless. But it also inspires, inspires me to even work harder. I work hard because, as Dimitri said partly, because I enjoy the work and also welcome its challenges. I treasure the agony and the pain that come with, this, uh, come with the work. 
Furthermore, I think it's, it's fair to say that the work gives me a breast of the fantastic growth uh, and exciting developments of, of the field. So during this long but rewarding journey, I really have benefited from the wisdom, the support, the encouragement, and friendship of numerous people. And it's my pleasure to start with, from the beginning, my PhD advisor, Professor Richard Cotto of Stanford University. Two of my, very fortunate to have my, two of my giant, the two giants of our field, Professor Ovi Minkasarian and Stephen Robinson as my mentors in my beginning years. And of course, the unforgettable unfor Professor Egon Balash uh, at the uh, Carnegie Mellon University where it was, he was really the very kind, I'm sure that many of you uh, know about him, was really very grateful to um, uh, Professor Balash. I would also like to thank the sort of co-authors of my monographs. Uh, they're not here in the audience, uh, but I've told them I will acknowledge their, their support in the past. Uh, they are Francisco Facchine from Italy, Tom Law, who's now in China, and Danny Robb, who's now at Cambridge University in England. I also want to acknowledge my postdocs, um, and collaborators, one of whom is here, uh, here, uh, Ying, uh, Ying Choi. And I also want to thank more than two dozen of my former uh, PhD students. I'm also grateful to many of my collaborators, especially in the sort of early years of my career. Uh, let me start with Patrick Harker, uh, who's now the president at the Federal Bank of Philadelphia, Ben Hobbs, who's at the audience somewhere, yes, Ben, uh, who's at the Johns Hopkins University, Vijay Kumar, uh, I always I say that he's my robotic arm, uh, who's the dean at the University of Pennsylvania, and Jeff Chinko at uh, Lehigh University. For this award, I'm really deeply indebted to my department chair, Majid Dezuki, who really truly encouraged me to seek this nomination. I uh, also want to thank Subhajit Sang and in my department, and also Michael Ferris at the University of Wisconsin for preparing the package and actually go through all the uh, paperwork. And of course, to the uh, program committee, Professor Gerard, uh, chaired by uh, Professor Gerard Conujo uh, and the two committee members, uh, let me end the, the, um, this short speech uh, to thank my immediate families. Uh, so all these years, so I'm presently the, grand, the proud grandfather of four, and hopefully soon to be the fifth one. Uh, my son, Michael, uh, my daughter-in-law, uh, and also my daughter and, his, uh, and her, uh, uh, her, my, my son-in-law. So they are all supporting my sort of all the hardship and then all the times that I spent at the office. And so I thank everyone that I've mentioned. So thank you very much. It's really a great pleasure, great honor. And now presenting the 2019 Lanchester Prize is committee chair, Stephen Graves. Yeah, good evening. I'm pleased to announce that there are two co-winners of the 2019 Fre Frederick W. Lanchester Prize. I would like to thank my fellow members of the prize committee, Shane Henderson, Eva Lee, Candy Yano, and Yin Yu Ye. On behalf of the committee, I'm pleased to designate Tim Ru Ruffgarden and Omar Besbes, Jonathan Gurr, Bora Keskin, and Asaf Zivi as the recipients of the 2019 Lanchester Prize. First, we award the Lanchester Prize to Omar Besbes, Jonathan Gurr, Bora Keskin, and Asaf Zivi for their set of papers 
non-stationary stochastic optimization, published in Operations Research in 2015, Chasing Demand, Learning and Earning in a Changing Environment, published in Math of OR in 2016, and Optimal Exploration Exploitation in a Multi-Armed Bandit Problem with Non-Stationary Rewards, forthcoming in Stochastic Systems. This set of papers presents the development of a novel paradigm for the modeling and analysis of online dynamic optimization problems in non-stationary environments. Online dynamic optimization, including the multi-armed bandit problem, is a fundamental problem that is prevalent in a wide and disparate range of application domains, such as revenue management, online advertising, clinical trials, and portfolio optimization. To capture non-stationarity, the authors introduce a variation budget that establishes an explicit limit on how much the system parameters can change over time. This modeling innovation allows the authors to present the first complete analytical treatment of this class of problems under non-stationarity. The research results include near-optimal dynamic policies for electric for exploration, exploitation, and provide a quantification of the price of non-stationarity. To date, these papers have been very influential in both the operations research and machine learning communities and have inspired important streams of follow-up research. The second 2019 Lanchester Prize is for Tim Roughgarden for his book, 20 Lectures on Algorithmic Game Theory, published in 2016 by the Cambridge University Press. Tim can't join us this evening, but please join me in congratulating him also for this honor. <laughs> Algorithmic Game Theory has emerged over the last two decades as a new field of great importance in operations research and to computer science for analyzing complex problems in which self-interested parties must interact. This book provides a very accessible graduate level introduction to the most important concepts and developments in game theory and its applications. The book is very well structured as 20 lessons covering mechanism design, the price of anarchy, and the, and the computation of game equilibria. The book is beautifully written and conversational in tone, yet without sacrificing any rigor. The content is complemented with a compelling set of illustrative cases and with challenging exercises. Undoubtedly, this book has and will continue to be very influential in educating a generation of students on modern game theory and its impact. Thank you. And now presenting the 2019 George E. Kimball Medal is committee chair Ann Robinson. It's my honor to be presenting the Kimball Medals, which recognize distinguished service to the Institute and to the profession of operations research and the management sciences. This year, I'm proud to announce two recipients who will be called up in alphabetical order. They are Peter Bell and Ed Kaplan. First, I'd like to present the award to Peter Bell.
Peter Bell is a professor emeritus and adjunct research professor at the Richard Ivey School of Business at Western University, following a more than 40-year distinguished career at the same institution. He earned a BA and MA from Oxford University and an MBA and PhD from the Graduate School of Business at the University of Chicago. Professor Bell's early research using interactive computer-generated graphics to address real management problems and led to a career-long interest in practice. His research has produced over 100 journal articles and 16 books. He championed the use of real-world cases in teaching analytics, has written over 150 business cases, and delivered case teaching ser seminars in more than 20 countries. Peter has won many awards for teaching innovation. Bell is an INFORMS fellow and has won the INFORMS prize for teaching the practice of ORMS. His INFORMS activities include two terms as Vice President International Activities on the INFORMS Board, Chair of the Practice Section, Chair of the Edelman Prize Committee, and many years as an Edelman Judge, Verifier, and Coach, and as MC of the Edelman Gala. He has been the Associate Editor of Operations Research and the INFORMS Journal of Applied Analytics, plus service on many INFORMS committees. Bell served more than 20 years on the board of the International Federation of Operations Research Societies in notable roles including president. During this time, he was program chair for the first conference on multimedia operations research and served as the founder and inaugural editor-in-chief of the iForge Journal on International Transactions in Operations Research. Bell is the past president of the Canadian OR Society and an Award of Merit winner and was elected emeritus member in 2018. He has provided consulting services to corporations, hospitals, small businesses, and other agencies and served on a number of boards of directors. For his many contributions to the fields of operations research and the management sciences, INFORMS expresses its sincere appreciation to Peter C. Bell by awarding him the 2019 George E. Kimball Medal. Uh, thank you very much, past president Dan and Mr. President, uh, for this high honor. Um, some of you gray hairs may remember that we started our career at a time when Russ Acoff wrote a famous article called The Future of OR is Past. Uh, luckily, things have changed, and my script isn't appearing here. <laughs> I'm hoping it might. Well, it didn't. Backup plan. Thank you. Um, anyway, it's been exciting and invigorating to live through the transformation of our field into the powerhouse that analytics is today. Um, it's important, I think, to recognize that this transformation has been driven by practice. Uh, we don't have hundreds of new analytics programs in our universities because there's a shortage of research students. Uh, I was very fortunate very early in my career to take a keen interest in practice. This was motivated by my dean who insisted that business school professors do useful work. Uh, so I invite you all to, to optimize your contribution to practice. Take on the challenges of the real world and experience the excitement and rewards that successful practice brings. Join the practice section of INFORM and interact with world-class practitioners. And if you teach, add some more practice to your courses, including perhaps a case or two, or maybe even more. Many of the most challenging, interesting, and entertaining moments of my career have taken place working for our society. Uh, first with the Canadian OR Society, then with TIMS and INFORMS, and then with IFORS. I've learned an enormous amount working on behalf of these organizations and experienced rich rewards, including lifelong friendships and a chance to play a role as analytics becomes even more visible. Our societies face some serious challenges going forward, including major threats to the knowledge sharing paradigm that motivates many of our activities. 
INFORMS and IFORS and the other national societies need your help and, and support if they are to take full advantage of the current analytics boom. Look around you, see what INFORMS does, find something that interests you and volunteer. You will be richly rewarded. Finally, a plug here, the next IFORS conference next year is in Seoul, South Korea. Abstract submission has just opened. Um, so you might uh, take this opportunity to uh, attend that conference. Um, an interest in practice, I think, and service to our societies has got me here today, so I encourage you all to get involved in these activities. Finally, a, just a thank you to the Ivy Business School and the Natural Science Engineering Research of Council of Canada that supported me for 40 plus years. Um, and to my wife and my children, who are now pretty decent. Um, and uh, and uh, finally, uh, thanks to my colleagues at Ivy, who have picked up a bouncing ball and run with it very successfully over the last few years. Now, thank you all very much. Next, I'd like to present the award to Edward H. Kaplan. <laughs> Edward Kaplan is the William N. and Marie A. Beach Professor of Operations Research, Professor of Public Health, and Professor of Engineering at Yale University. He received his bachelor degrees with honors from McGill University and three master's degrees and his doctorate from MIT. He joined the Yale faculty in 1987 following appointments at Harvard's Kennedy School and the University of Massachusetts, Boston. Professor Kaplan has studied critical problems in the public sector. His work has, has influenced establishing legal needle exchange programs in the United States and abroad and has contributed to new approaches to HIV incident surveillance at the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. His research on smallpox bioterror preparedness has informed government decision making regarding post-attack vaccination policy. His study of tactical prevention of suicide bombings has informed intelligence community briefings and his analysis of blood donation risks in Israel led to his placement on an advisory committee to Israel's Ministry of Health that reformed blood donation policy. His research contributions have been recognized with several awards and honors from INFORMS, the National Academy of Engineering, the National Academy of Medicine, the Omega Rho Operations Research Honor Society, and the CDC, among many others. A member of ORSA and TIMS, as well as INFORMS, Professor Kaplan served on and chaired numerous INFORMS committees, served in senior editorial positions for management science and operation research, and was elected twice to the INFORMS board, first as Director E, which apparently E stands for education, and then in 2014 as president. His presidential tenure saw the INFORMS board adopt a new strategic plan to promote best practices and advances to improve operational processes, decision makings, and outcomes. The plan included a call for INFORMS members to advance society and make the world a better place. Professor Kaplan is also an active member of the Operations Research Society of Israel. For his many contributions to the field of operations research and the management sciences, INFORMS expresses its sincere appreciation to Edward H. Kaplan by awarding him the 2019 George E. Kimball Medal. Excuse me while I prepare my spontaneous remarks. So thank you, Anne, and my thanks to the award committee. In 1977, I started graduate school at MIT. Um, I thought I was going to be a city planner. Uh, Dick Larson had other ideas, introduced me to operations research, and for 42 years, OR has kept me going. I love operations research. I'm very proud of the collective accomplishments of our field, 
but beyond the models and the projects, OR has given me a wonderful community, colleagues, students, dear, dear friends, an endless stream of places to go, but especially people to see. Representing OR at large has been an adventure and a privilege. I'm grateful to Informus for having provided so many opportunities to serve, and to you, the members, for giving me the chance to be your member in chief. Thank you again so very, very much. And now, presenting the Informs President's Award is Informs President Ramaya Krishnan. Wow, what an honor to see all these fantastic award winners. So please join me in congratulating them. I should also acknowledge Ed as the, per as the person who actually recruited me to get, uh, get on the informs boards. Thank you, Ed. Uh, <laughs> so uh, tonight I have the honor of uh, presenting the 2019 Informs President's Award, and it's to Dimitris Batsimas. You learned a bit about Dimitris earlier today. However, I wanted to share a bit more. Dimitris is the Boeing Leaders for Global Operations Professor of Operations Research the Associate Dean of Business Analytics and the Director of the Master of Business Analytics Program at the Sloan School of Management at MIT. He served as a co-director of MIT's Operations Research Center from 2006 to 2019. He holds a BS in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science in the National Technical University of Athens in Greece, as well as an MS in Operations Research and a PhD in Applied Mathematics and operations research from MIT. So you well know he's a prolific scholar, an educator, a researcher, and an entrepreneur. He's well known for his foundational work in optimization, his pioneering research on data-driven decision-making on topics at the interface of operations research and machine learning. He's made significant contribution to important societal problems through his work on personalized medicine and transportation, among other areas. He's a co-founder or founder of several companies that have translated his research into practice, and he has co-authored more than 200 scientific papers and a number of books that have had a significant impact. One in particular that I'd like to highlight is his recent book, Machine Learning Under a Modern Optimization Lens with Jay Dunn. He's contributed significantly as the editor of a number of Informs journals. I'm particularly appreciative of his leadership role in establishing the Informs Journal on Optimization. He's an Informs Fellow, a member of the National Academy of Engineering, and he's a recipient of the Jameson Prize at MIT for outstanding educational contributions. Informs is proud to recognize Professor Dimitris Batsimas for his sustained, multi-dimensional, high-impact scholarship that has led to important applications, entrepreneurial activity for educating generations of OR scholars, for the education materials that have benefited generations of students of OR and analytics, and for opening up new fields of inquiry that have benefited society. Dimitris. So here's, I go again, huh? So ladies and gentlemen, I feel very honored to be in the company of prior recipients of these awards who have impacted our field significantly. I would like to thank Krishnan, Nick, and Brian for selecting me. I chose to discuss my overall aspirations who said I believe some light to the path that led to this award. The mission of my life and career is as follows, number one, to improve the human condition. Number two, to positively affect the lives of people, especially young people. And number three, to increase the understanding of how the world works. I have used scientific research, education, and building companies to achieve these objectives. The principles that guide, that guide my research are as follows. Number one, there is nothing that we cannot achieve if we put our minds into it. Number two, 
great research can change the world. And number three, great research has the following characteristic. Assume we succeed 100% in answering the research question we aim to address. Does the human condition improve? Do the results of the research affect what we teach the future generations, in particular undergraduate students? Does the research increase the understanding of how the world works? On education, it is my aspiration to generate new knowledge and use it to teach the next generations by introducing new classes, MOOCs, and writing books. <coughs> I also believe this responsibility is increasing with age. I feel an increased sense of responsibility to transmit the understanding and experience I have achieved to help and inspire young people. As you have heard, I have been a serial entrepreneur. I have observed that the majority of scientists who have produced research that is capable of affecting the lives of millions of people created the companies themselves. It is my belief that the major way to affect the human condition in large scale is to build a successful company. From my experience, the only way to build a successful company is to inspire a team of people, create a common vision, and execute the vision successfully. I dedicate this award to my partners, many of whom have been my former students. While awards acknowledge accomplishments of the past and offer an opportunity to reflect, I aspire to continue the journey. Thank you. It has been quite a night to remember. Tomorrow, INFORMS will induct the 2019 recipients of the INFORMS Fellow Award. Although the official ceremony will take place then, I want to share the names of this year's new class of fellows. Please join me in <laughs> congratulating them. So on this happy note, I want to thank you all for celebrating with us as we pay tribute to these outstanding contributors to our field. This concludes the official ceremony. We now invite all our awardees back to the stage for an outstanding, amazing photograph. So have a great evening, and please enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you again for coming.